Well, hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your love reading for March 23rd, right through to April 23rd, 2021. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody. So please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. Just to let you know, this is not a personal reading. This is a general reading. Also, I'm doing a competition uh, for one lucky subscriber to win a personal reading. Uh, I don't give them away often, but when I do, um, I uh, would like to give them away for free. Uh, no donations or anything like that. Uh, I'll let you know how to win that personal reading right at the end of this reading, because some people are here only for this reading and are not here for both. I don't like to waste anybody's time. Let's get straight to it, my beautiful Aries. Um, I'm using a Mirror's Love Oracle deck. And um, this is a singles love reading. If anything from the past comes up, I will discuss it because I am not in control of the cards. They come out as and when spirit indicates they want them to come out, just so you're aware. Let's get, whoa. Okay, so we have comma and we have soulmate. Ooh, and we got twin flame. Okay, so this is gonna be a difficult one, my beautiful Aries. Buckle up for the ride. We have soulmate, okay, so definitely uh, if you do not know the difference between soulmate and twin flame, please look it up. Uh, it's often a very, very difficult journey, the twin flame journey. You may be in separation from somebody at the moment um, and finding it very difficult. You may have waited years for this connection to come back into union. You may wait, have waited months, uh, but there, it looks like there is a soulmate on the horizon also. We have two. We've also got karma. Now, I'm going to see if this is sometimes... Uh, in an energy reading, the two cards can come out. It can be the same person. So I will just check that energy, but we've got karma there. So there's spiritual illumination. There's definitely the doors are opening for union, but also good karma is coming your way here. Uh, it looks like there's an awakening. That's what I'm getting here, an awakening. Let's get straight to it. Thank you so much, spirit guides, great angels. Uh, just to let you know, when I was doing your pre-shuffle, the king and queen of um, ice came up first, okay? Uh, so perhaps there is someone that you're not talking to, that you're in the separation period uh, with, so that definitely indicates twin flame energy that's there. This is not a twin flame reading, so uh, I do those separately. If you're looking for a twin flame reading, please check that out. I did it uh, like a week ago. We have chemistry. Thank you so much for it, guys. Going angels, can you please guide my beautiful Aries? We have give your relationship a chance. Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful for the messages so far. Can you please guide my beautiful Aries? What do they need to know regarding? We've got soulmate. Oh, gosh, they asked me to go again, so I'm going again. Thank you so much. Okay, so we have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Now, this could be um, someone that you already know. We've got true love and we've got wedding. This is the romance of a lifetime, okay? So I will clarify the energy, see if we've got, uh, because we got soulmate twice, they're indicating that soulmate is very, very important in this union. Um, it could overtake the twin flame. Now, just to let you know, you do not have to be with your twin flame because often twin flame journey is very, very difficult. Uh, there is a time period where you're separated for a long time. There may be comics involved. Um, so uh, let's see what they want to discuss. Uh, can you please clarify the soulmate energy for me? Can you please clarify the soulmate energy? Is this separate from Twin Flame? We have Queen of Wands and we have King of Wands. I mean, you can't write this stuff, Aries. It's the one, okay? King and Queen of Fire, of Wands, okay? And Aries, that's your card. Uh, the king of uh, wands there. So definitely indicating soulmate energy coming on in for you. Um, now this, <clears throat> they are indicating that this is, well, I'll, I'll clarify it before I say it, uh, but this person that you're uh, coming into union with, there is an indication here that either they have a Leo placement or they're another Aries, perhaps they have strong Aries in their chart as well, uh, but very confident relationship, very feisty, very passionate. I mean, off the charts chemistry. They did not give you this card for a reason. I mean, they did not give you this card, chemistry. 
by accident, okay? They give it to you for a reason because you and this person, I mean, it is hot, 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 okay? Um, so we definitely got soulmate energy coming through. Your counterparts, you're meant to be together. Uh, can you please clarify the twin flame for me? Can you please clarify the twin flame uh, separate for me, please? Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful for the messages so far. Can you please clarify? Thank you so much. How would you like to receive? Thank you. Judgment. Okay, so interesting. The judgments. This person may come around for a second um, opportunity at a relationship with you, Aries. Uh, but we got the Ace of Wands there. It's um, in the reverse. They're indicating rejection. Okay. Now, even if you look at the meanings of these cards, they're indicating there was a false start here. It was a brutal ending in some way. I feel like this person really disappointed you, broke you even. Okay. Um, now, the judgment card indicates it's your choice. So again, they are indicating that there is a soulmate connection coming on in here for you, someone who is completely your match, uh, but also there is another option that you will be weighing up. So you're in a bit of a crux. You're in a bit of a, a fork in the road there. Uh, you're reaching a new life and you must purge something that is negative or is holding you back, okay? Because if you are ascending Aries in your union with your twin flame, this indicates um, that there is an awakening for you, but it has to be on both sides. So if you've waited a long time for your twin flame to ascend and they're not ascending in, this, in the time frame that you are, you may have waited a long time and you may be taking back the power now and think every time this person comes on in, they keep rejecting um, me or they keep running away from the connection. Uh, it's, it's brutal, okay? It chips away at your confidence and you may be weighing this up as to whether you want to be with this person it's almost like you're wondering about Twin Flame now because you may be having those questions like, is, is this person meant to be on my life's purpose path? If this person's um, meant to be my, my Twin Flame, why is it they keep rejecting the connection? Why is it it keeps, you know, going south? It's not really working. Why is there uh, false starts or, you know, why is there separation? Okay, let's um, clarify. What is the Twin Flame's intention? Can you please give me the Twin Flame's intention before we move forward? Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please guide me? What is the... Thank you so much. How would you like to see? Knight of Coins. You have quite a conundrum here, Aries. This person wants... They're slow to act, super slow to act, but they are coming on in to give a solid uh, offer at love. Um, this person, they know that... You and this person have past life as well. Uh, they're really highlighting the pyramid in the background. You've definitely known each other a couple of lifetimes. This is the problem, okay? You're gonna be presented with uh, two options here, two very, very strong contenders, okay? Um, I'll have to clarify this energy a little bit further. Anything more you'd like to give me regarding um, this energy before we move forward? Can you please take, tell me about true love and wedding, perhaps? Six of Wands. Okay, Six of Wands in the reverse indicates um, you retreated. Perhaps you were in a high-level commitment with your twin flame, maybe even married your twin flame, uh, and there's you know, there is retreat here, a giving up, a lack of confidence in true love and wedding. So you may feel like it's not happening for you, okay? You may have faced a lot of obstacles and tried to overcome them, but no matter how hard you tried, Aries, uh, there's an indication here that it just didn't work out. And uh, I feel like you're in that surrender phase. Now that's the most important phase when it comes to uh, a twin flame journey, when you surrender, because you actually activate the cord and the other person sort of comes seeking you. But, okay, thank you so much. I do not, and I repeat, do not um, advocate anyone waiting for anybody, okay? Um, ha everything happens in divine order. You do not know what the universe has in order for you. You need to just go with the flow, okay? So if you're having feelings for someone who's a soulmate energy, don't feel bad, okay? This person's meant to come into your life for a reason um, and they're coming on in. Equally, the twin flame union, you know, there's a reason why you and this person were separated, why uh, there is a loss of faith in this union. It was for um, to learn to love yourself fully and um, have confidence in yourself, okay? Um, now, I'm just gonna take these cards before we move forward. 10 of cups, two of coins, okay. See, it's the same kind of energy. Look at this. The Ten of Cups in the reverse indicates just when you've got separation, just when you're feeling like um, it's either a broken marriage or um, broken union here, um, there's 
there's an energy here of giving up okay like unfulfilled destiny um, and we also have uh, the Sun card in the reverse which means you've been waiting for a long time there's been no gratification in this union perhaps there's been temporary gratification with um, how can I put that temporary gratification with sexual intimacy rather than going deep this person just didn't didn't connect before okay um, and you've been waiting a long time uh, we've got the two of Pentacles which means you're really seeing things clearly now you don't want to have to make a decision you don't want you may even feel like this person's got an inability to commit so you're feeling overwhelmed about this connection um, and we also have the Knight of Swords, which is really presenting you with something very difficult, Aries. When you get a Knight of Swords, this person is changing their life. So they are ascending. Karma is there for a reason. It seems to be, it's almost like, isn't it, isn't it, it's like buses, right, Aries? I'm just getting this feeling like, oh, what the hell? It's like buses. You wait a long time, nothing comes along. Then all of a sudden, they all come at once, right? So we got this um, Knight of Swords. This person's coming to tell you the truth. Uh, they're changing their life quite quickly for the better, for sure. Um, but I mean, is it too late? That's the energy that I'm getting. Okay. Um, now I'm just going to quickly pull a card on, um, cause we got this situation involves marriage. Okay. So either you were separated from this person, you were married to this person in the past, or whether you're going to uh, be in union with someone in the near future uh let's check thanks so much you want that one yeah king of coins in the reverse someone who did not invest in the connection okay this person could have been a taurus energy uh this person's quite jealous aries i feel like um oh we got an ace of wands out again okay they're very jealous okay i understand you're gonna be quite surprised <clears throat> It's almost like this person from the past or this twin flame can feel that you're moving on um, because they're coming on in to talk, okay? They suspect a third party situation. They suspect that um, you may have someone else um, and because you're no longer supporting this connection or no longer investing in this connection, uh, they come on in and surprise you, the tower card, okay? Um, now this person is making changes in their life but there has to be a big enough change, big enough transformation to replace your relationship with something healthier or something better, okay? Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide? Thank you so much. And one more. Oh, thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Can you please guide my beautiful Aries? What do they need to know? Whoa, okay. I'm just gonna go get that card one more, please. Oh, gosh. Oh, well, I mean, maybe it's not an accident that I picked it up and then dropped it again, okay? But there is definitely, there's two aces here. Two aces, okay? One is passion, the other one is very stable offer, but you've definitely got two offers of a relationship here or a high-level commitment, some sort of um, interest in terms of love. Now, let's go to the Celtic. Uh, we'll get the overall energy first, and then we'll hit the Celtic cross. Uh, but this is for the long haul, okay? You're thinking long-term security. Now, Aries, <clears throat> I have to say, I just got this energy that it's taken you a long time to get to this part, to this, to this point, really. I feel like you may have even shied away from high-level commitment yourself because you always felt it was not right. It was something that was just off, okay? Um, so you may have... Um, protected your wonderful heart if you were hurt in the past uh you may have guarded your heart there there's definitely some good karma coming your way but unfortunately good karma says and now you have to choose between two okay uh thank you so much spirit guides great angels can you please guide my beautiful aries what is the overall energy of the time period i've set for them can you please guide me what are they meant to see we got the death card endings bring new beginnings so either you are stepping out of a period of discarding old habits, releasing that which is hindering you and making room for something better, or you are ending the toxic cycle or um, transforming the twin flame journey and opening up to something new. What they're indicating here, this is something you may have resisted for a long time, letting go. It's very hard, okay, to surrender to the union. Uh, but there is, 
stagnancy on a relationship that's just too difficult. I will clarify this energy even more. We got the lover's card. <clears throat> Excuse me. All of a sudden, my throat chakra is blocking. So perhaps there's a conversation that is needed to be had with someone in the past. <clears throat> Excuse me. I do apologize. But the lover's card indicates choice. It is this, the, the card of soulmates, of unification, um, but also of um, loving someone of, on a very, very deeper level, okay? You may be examining your motives and your values. Oh, I've got a lovely, wonderful bit of energy just joining. Um, a breeze came through. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so they're really indicating here with that a face right in the center that would be your face and then there's two faces either side which one do you choose listen to your intuition it will never lead you astray but also you must be engaging your heart chakra and your throat chakra okay you will definitely tap into your intuition you will know which one you're meant to be with you will feel it okay but the lover's card indicates yes there is so much energy here you want there is love coming on in for you aries thank you so much it depends on what you want really so it will be different for everybody. There's going to be people watching who are like, I want to heal the person, heal the relationship with the person in the past, There's, which you may consider twin flame. If you feel like the person you were with in the past was soulmate, then you're about to meet your twin flame. So please take it as it resonates. We got the full card. We got a new start on the board. Okay. It requires a leap of faith. This is the unified position, okay? So this is uh, a lot of potential to attract someone new, Aries. The full card is your card. So this is about fresh hope. There is a new path opening up to you and there is uh, you having faith that anything is possible. It's almost like the sun's out, you're looking hot, and all of a sudden everyone's attracted, right? Uh, I feel very much like you're, you're manifesting new love, but also... Because you're feeling really good about yourself, along comes from someone from the past as well. I feel like there's this definite energy of peacocking. Um, they're just saying reservoir, reservoir. So either you're by a reservoir or, uh, I mean, I can't imagine anyone's surname is reservoir. It may be, I don't know. Um, please take it as reson resonates. I mean, it could be the name of a song or a film or something that you're engaged in presently. Uh, I don't feel like it's uh, past energy. I feel it's more present energy. Something that you're doing has that word somehow intrinsically involved in it. If it's that, if that's you, there's something in this message for you, okay? Uh, but definitely a wonderful new start on the board. Now, whether that is with the person in the past and you're taking a leap of faith after a period of losing hope with this person or you're embracing someone new, that is your choice. Let's get to the Celtic cross and see what's happening. But as you could see with that King and Queen of Wands, we definitely got... A match okay thank you so much spirit guys going angels what is the heart of the matter for my beautiful Aries just to let you know I'm using the psychic tarot um, and I'm only reading the uprights in those apart from the challenge position um, we have throat chakra okay so I was definitely feeling it someone's got their throat chakra blocked there this is the heart of the matter being able to have a conversation perhaps even to shut things down now you may have a Capricorn placement there uh, Aries because I did a Capricorn reading earlier and uh, the throat chakra was also uh, blocked in some way. I think it was Capricorn, not Aquarius. But anyway, uh, yeah, conversation coming through. Maybe there's something that you should have, could have, would have said, but you didn't. Okay, which is not like you, Aries. Normally you get it all off your chest, out and proud. But there's an energy here of something maybe bothering you. It may even be a closure kind of conversation that you feel is necessary. But right now... You're going to have a lot to talk to, a lot of people to talk to. I feel like there's someone new coming on in. You'll be having conversations with them. And I feel also that uh, someone from the past is coming on in to talk as well. This person is more than just a fling. That's the feeling I'm getting. This is someone that you deeply, deeply loved. They really want me to show you the death card, okay? As you can see, the death card here. Uh, this person is holding on tightly. They don't want to let go. So there's either somebody who does not want to let go of you, and it's making you really think, maybe I'm meant to be with this person. It's keeping you both stuck, okay? There has to be a conversation. Get the elephant out of the room. Really talk about it so that it disappears and you know where you're, where each of you are on the page. As it were, are you on the same page? Are you going to change this relationship for something better, something more healthy? But there's definitely inertia here. You felt fed up. 
it has somehow kept you stuck. But they're indicating with the snakes there that there is rebirth, okay? Shedding of old skin brings new, um, new energy into an old relationship. If you always did what you always did, Aries, you're always going to get what you always got, right? So you have to change up the script there. Um, and I also feel um, that you're going to give it, get an opportunity to close something down, to end something, in order to bring in a new era in your love life. Now, what is the challenge in this relationship? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aries? What is the challenge? Oof. Oh gosh, they want both cards. The challenge here is the hangman, sacrifice, and heartache and loss, okay? So perhaps here, with the heartache and loss, you did not get a conversation, an apology. Perhaps you, you wanna know why what happened in the past happened. Maybe you just want closure on that, okay? The hangman indicates you've waited a long time. You've waited so long thinking that this person was for you uh, in the past that perhaps that deep knowing within you, you're like a little bit confused now. And you're like, well, I always thought this person was meant to be for me. I'm surrendering to the union, but they won't surrender. Spirit's asking you to look at this union and examine, re-examine your priorities really as to why you want to be with this person and if they really are right for you. If they keep you hanging, are they really right for you, Aries? Is this a separation period uh, between twin flame? Only you know your personal circumstances, but they're indicating here that um, there is a release. It's time for a new uh, perspective on this and also wisdom, okay? Um, I feel like during your downtime or separation period from this person uh, from the past, you've been calling in new opportunities. It's difficult to move forward in an old relationship if the heartache and loss has not been addressed, has not been processed or even talked about. And I feel like sometimes Aries, a person from the past, comes in and talks like nothing happened. It's almost like they expect you to forgive them. They're a bit selfish kind of energy here. Um, and I feel like you may have been uh, either betrayed by this person. I'm going to pull a quick card on this. I mean, Aries, I don't imagine you would ever go back if you're betrayed by a person. Um, but nothing's ever black and white. So the heart wants what the heart wants. Uh, but, but maybe the heart just wants an apology or some sort of um, explanation. Oof. I mean... Now this person, you may have felt like this person cheated on you, Aries. Uh, we got the Nine of Wands in the reverse. This person here today, gone tomorrow, in and out of your life. Very chaotic person, very sexually impulsive. Um, used sex as well as intimacy, okay? Um, but somehow, well, you, you felt like this person was your soulmate because we got the Two of Cups there. Um, now it's interesting because I do get a feeling this person wants to turn things around. They do want to settle down now. Um, Let's pull another card. Oof, another breeze. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please clarify this Two of Cups and this Knight of Wands? Thank you so much. The Sun, but it's still waiting. It's in the reverse. You still be waiting for this person, okay? Um, yeah. It'll stay stuck until you heal this. We got the star card and the death card. Um, unless it's like something's being ignored here. Either it's ignoring processing this pain and moving forward because something is keeping you stuck, okay? Uh, maybe it's even the sadness of this relationship is keeping you stuck. You may feel like um, this person really broke your heart, brought you to your knees in this relationship, and it's been difficult to move past those emotions. Not everybody's going to treat you the same, Aries. No way. Okay, the new person who's coming on in, heavy chemistry and also a pure heart, I feel. Uh, someone who really, really, uh, I mean, every relationship's got ups and downs. I'm not here to spin you some sort of like the whole world is amazing, uh, unicorns and rainbows, uh, but I do feel um, they will love you with equality. Um, anything more before I move forward? Thank you so much. Okay, so this person, it's interesting because there was something underhanded here. Uh, this person ran away from their feelings. They denied their feelings because they were afraid. They were afraid to settle down. They're afraid. I feel like this person was also afraid to, uh, now this is not going to speak to everybody. This is just a separate one that's coming in this energy. Um, this person was afraid of having children. Okay, so there may be something from their childhood um, they felt like 
to be with you. Uh, they, they wanted to offer you everything, but they were afraid to either have children or to have that sort of settled lifestyle. They felt like they couldn't make it. They couldn't do it. They, they always ran away from very deep feelings or investing in things. Uh, this person, also financially, this person may be doing uh, not so well at the moment, just to let you know. But the blockage here is you believe this person was your soulmate. And uh, you may have waited a long time for this person, so it's hard to get over that kind of energy uh, and move into um, sort of a letting go space where you can welcome in something new. Now, this is not going to speak to everybody. I feel like you will get some sort of apology through from your person from the past. Whether it's good enough, that's your call, Aries, okay? Uh, I'm just going to go and see what is below you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide... My beautiful Aries, what is below? Thank you so much. Just as I uh, that card popped right out, um, they said the name Amy. So either your name is Amy or uh, the person you're dealing with was called Amy. Um, it could even be a friend that introduced you that was called Amy or a work colleague that you've been confiding in or a friend that you've been confiding in uh, called Amy. Please take it as it resonates, okay? Um, what is below you? Love begins, okay? So this is what's carrying you through. There is love. There is new love coming on in. You may be manifesting it because the aces, they bring new, okay? And they're divinely guided by the universe. This is a uh, new love coming on in here for you that will lead to a high-level commitment. Two people coming together um, to meet each other halfway and give the same amount of love. No selfishness here. Um, and this is, uh, you know, it starts somewhere. It actually goes somewhere. Very deep in terms of emotion, a lot of growth there. Very, very fruitful and fulfilling union coming on in here. Something that, that's deep below, that's what you're manifesting, okay, Aries? What is in your past? Oh gosh, another ace. I mean, it is not an accident you got four aces on the board here, okay? Um, we got prosperity begins. So maybe you got a new job, Aries, because the aces, ace of pentacles often brings a new job or raise or promotion, some sort of investment news. But... In the recent past or in the past you did have something that you felt was solid you had something that you thought was going somewhere okay two people came together and planted something so maybe you feel like the history is too far gone with the person in the past or you feel like you've sacrificed a lot you've only you know you haven't come this far to only get this far Aries so you have a big decision to make because there's definitely um, it's almost like Something that you've already invested in versus calling in something new, there is quite a conundrum here, okay? Uh, something that you're going to have to work out based on your intuition and what it is that you want in your personal circumstances. What is above my beautiful Aries? Can you please guide them? What is above them? What is the goal here? Eight of Cups, okay? Now, Eight of Cups is about emotional withdrawal. So you're moving on from a situation. What's really interesting is, as you can see, there's a handprint on the sand there and two feet, they're walking away. Someone really did a number on you, Aries. They really um, touched your heart, really left an impression. That impression still stays with you. It's caused a lot of pain, a lot of hurt, and it's caused you to be in your head and thinking a lot of things over. The water has been is a little bit tumultuous, as you can see, so it's, it's caused a lot of emotional upset, but it's been time to take time out to reflect. So emotional withdrawal means you may actually take some time out for yourself to really uh, have introspection and enlightenment in that solitude, or you may be walking away for good from something or somebody in order to embrace something new. Um, and maybe you feel like, you know, it's been too rocky a time. There's been a lot of obstacles and you're calling in something new. The Eight of Cups often indicates walking away, okay? Um, and we have the Hierophant. So this is the potential, walking away from something and a high level commitment with somebody, okay? So there's definitely a relationship on the board here. Um, they're indicating wisdom. Knowledge will help you in this situation, okay? It is the key to having uh, what you're hoping for in the future, which is a, a settled kind of lifestyle with someone that you love and trust to build a home. As you can see, there's a dog there for loyalty. The sun is in the background there. This person is pointing towards the sun, looking at what they're trying to manifest, which is um, a high-level commitment. Now, the Hierophant often indicates uh, you're closer to union when you are learning, okay? So um, you may be doing a lot of spiritual growth there. As I said, there's a breakthrough here for you in terms of love um, and in terms of spiritual ascension. Um, okay, <laughs> Crown Chakra. 
there's a deep knowing. I'm doing the near future position. They want me to go again, so I will. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aries? What is coming in the near future for my beautiful Aries? What do they need to know? Oh, wow. Doing a lot of unblocking here. Amazing. So we have um, the sacral chakra and we have the crown chakra. Very important. Why? Sacral chakra says, I want. So Aries, you got to understand what it is that you want. Really listen to your intuition. It will never lead you astray. And what is meant for you will never, ever pass you by. If you choose someone in this moment and they are not right for you, spirit will make sure they put a block in the path and redirect you somewhere else. Rejection is often God's protection and redirection. Make note of that. It's very important. Okay. Um, also, we got crown chakra, which is I know. So when you want something, when you meet it, you know that it is it. Okay. So when you meet this new person or you meet, you reconnect with the person in the past, you will know either way, whether you want who you want to be with, basically. So keep your, your chakras open uh, because a uh, very, very important throat, crown, sacral. Okay. I feel very much like you may be working on your heart chakra at this moment as well. Uh, but we've also got, um, the magician card awareness. Okay. So they're giving me the name Kelly. So either that's a surname or a person's name. Maybe it's your name. Uh, maybe it's the person you're dealing with. Um, please take it as it resonates. Perhaps you've met someone new called Kelly or even Amy. There are two feminine names there. Um, please take them as they resonate. Um, if they, if those names or, or things that come through to me do not resonate for you, does not mean it's um, not your reading. It just means uh, they want to get that person to pay close attention to the particular uh, part of the reading, just to let you know. Okay. Um, what is that? Um, so they're giving me, uh, I'm feeling all kind of like, it's not even itchy. I'm feeling like really like getting the heebie-jeebies and they're actually showing me like a spider's netting spider's web or something and I feel like either you're dealing with a spider right now as you listen to this reading or you've just spotted one or something maybe you have a phobia against spiders because they're really highlighting that for me and I love spiders so I've got no problem with them um so it's not my energy um but they're indicating it's really like I mean the spider's web is really interesting it's not a, it's not your typical spider's web that you would see okay it's something like really it's almost like candy floss, but white candy floss. So this is quite a specialized kind of spider. Anyway, we will leave it at that. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, perhaps it, it, spiritually it may mean um, building a home, building a nest, um, thinking about the future. It could even me, mean that you're feeling trapped or something. So please take it as it resonates. But the awareness card indicates, um, you know, uh, skill in terms of your work manifesting your dreams uh, in terms of finances etc etc but also in business it also in indicates confidence when um, you are confident in your skin you're manifesting the right love that is meant for you this is definitely focusing your dreams and your visions and turning them into reality so whatever you're manifesting which seems to be this and this uh, it will come to you because you're very, very connected to the universe at this time. As you can see, this uh, magician here, uh, this is the magician card, um, they're activating their crown chakra, the knowing, okay? I know. So because you got them both together, that is not an accident. Now let's see how you're, you're, uh, what advice you would give to yourself in this moment, my beautiful Aries. How are you feeling? What is the advice for you in this moment? How is my beautiful Aries feeling? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aries? We have new beginnings. Okay, so even though we do have someone from your past sort of edging on in to talk, maybe even give you some sort of closure, new beginnings seem to be what's on your mind. This is what's going on here. Okay, new, new love. Now, new beginnings is the full card. There's an energy here of taking a leap of faith. There is a wonderful opportunity for something new to happen here. It's not an accident that you got two full cards. This is your overall energy, these ones, for the time period of set. This is more the details, but it's still faded energy. Please pay attention. You got really uh, quite a few major arcana cards. One, two, three, four. You got two, five, six major arcanas. Um, 
in this deck, you know, the, the chakra cards are also considered uh, majors, just to let you know. Um, but you have to come out of your comfort zone. So perhaps you're thinking of ways of how to meet somebody new. I'm going to clarify that card a little bit uh, later to see uh, what kind of energy we're getting on that. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. What is the external influences, the environment uh, surrounding my beautiful Aries? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Um, this is not going to resonate for everybody, but they're showing me an escalator. Escalator. So either you're going up the subway on an escalator or... Um, I mean, I can't imagine it would be an airport. There's not much travel going on right now because of what's going on around the world at the moment. Um, so if you're going up some sort of escalator, travelator, whatever you call it, um, there's something in this message for you, okay? Uh, it could mean it could just mean that you're moving on up, up and out, you know, forward. You're moving forward. You're not you're not going against the grain, you're moving forward, you're not going backwards. Because when you're on a travelator or an escalator, I mean, you can go backwards, but there's resistance. You don't get very far if you're going backwards, right? I feel like that's a bit of a metaphor for life. Um, now, what is the environment? Patience and planning. Uh, so yeah, patience. As you can see, there's two pillars here of strength. Two people, strong in themselves, comfortable in their own skin, loving themselves, coming together, um, and they're here to weather the storm okay as you can see hail sun fall snow there's definitely an element here of um you know yes your patience will bring delayed success when it comes to love but there is you may be building on your financial sort of foundation while you're waiting for new love to come on in aries um, but i really feel like the circumstance the circumstances are kind of moving towards you meeting somebody now i will clarify the energy i'm getting a strong no here thank you they want this card as well um i'm getting a strong energy that um wherever you invest your time in order to achieve something either financially or in terms of your passion is where you're going to meet this new person uh but i will clarify in a moment movement choices and decisions so you may be planning for the future but it's actually opening you up for a lot of um, choices uh, now when you get a two of pentacles this is again weighing up your options weighing up the right options for you uh, as you can see we've got money there we've got union we've got uh, so this may be union could indicate you know, uh, Twin Flame Union. Uh, also, we got a little bud there, something new budding. So a new um, relationship coming on in, soulmate energy and complete freedom. So the choices are yours. The circumstances are moving. Whoa. Sorry, uh, I just got a little tickle on the back of my uh, hair, uh, right at the bottom at the base of my neck. Okay, so... Um, if you felt the same in that moment, then there's something in this message for you because that's not my energy and my guides are not there. So uh, they're very much uh, situated here uh, at this moment in time. Thank you so much for it, guys, great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aries? Okay, so we got an outcome. So we have Six of Pentacles. Now, when you get a Six of Pentacles, this is a balanced energy. This is meeting somebody who is not selfish, that actually meets you halfway in a union. Also, when you get Six of Earth, a Six of Pentacles, it indicates there will be an unexpected resource or a generous surprise from the universe. Something you're not expecting comes on in. Okay, now this could be financially, but as you can see, in terms of relationship, we've got two waterfalls there. So there are two energy sources coming together to be emotionally on the same page someone to join you on your balcony so it's almost like you're looking at um the happiness in the in the, in the background right there you're in the foreground standing there on the balcony alone but you're wondering what it is you, what you need to do to get to your happiness and you it looks like you got to choose between uh two um energies vying for your attention um one of them i mean they seem they're coming up with a knight of swords so this person's changing their life um around but i feel like you may be waiting for results you may be waiting to see um this person if they really do step up to the plate we've also got an eight of um wands there accelerated motion so eight of wands indicates you will be hearing from these people you will be hearing from somebody new 
I'm gonna just uh, check that out and see where you could meet this person who that's new. Uh, but definitely, there's some news coming on in here. You, you're overcoming obstacles when it comes to love. There's definitely spiritual ascension here for you, Aries, or whatever you've been wishing for on a star. There's there's quick changes here, and I feel very much like um, news is arriving that changes everything and makes you question things. Now. We also got a nine of uh, wands there, which is the wounded warrior, spiritual strength. So you've been wounded quite badly by somebody in the past and still you move on. You're getting back on the horse of love, as it were. And I feel very much like you may persist, but keep your boundaries high. Be mindful. Yes, it's a very good position to be in, Aries, because you're actually, you know, whatever brought you to your knees, you're still strong enough to stay standing. Uh, and I feel very much like you're going to move through this time and you're going to rise up um, and you gain this new relationship that's coming on in, however you want it to be, whether it's the person in the past or the, the person in the future. Um, but also be mindful that you're guarding your beautiful heart, Aries. If you've got, if you're guarding your heart because of heartbreak in the past, you're also preventing love to come on in, okay? So there's some sort of blockage that they're indicating here that you may walk away from in order to get a higher level commitment. Uh, now, let me just clarify some of this energy. Okay, yeah. So in the time period I've set, it looks like you will be talking to somebody new. Can you please uh, clarify me? The Eight of Wands for me. Ten of Coins. So the person that you separated from, or uh, you were in a high level commitment with them, or even um, you were married to this person, it's, it seems like you're gonna be in connection with this person again. They're gonna come to talk, okay? Um, yeah, so nine of wands. As you can see, they're, they're side by side. We got the nine of wands again. This is a person you protect yourself against. Um, you're nearly there. And when I mean, when I say that, I mean, you're nearly at the top with this person and whether that means closure for you or whether it means a breakthrough for you, you're nearly there. Okay. But it's very stressful and you, you may feel like, um, that you're always having to battle this relationship. Um, it's a tough one. Uh, I wouldn't like to be in your shoes to have to choose. Um, can you please clarify accelerated motion? Any other news coming on in for my beautiful Aries? Thank you so much for guides. Yeah, so we've got the Two of Cups. There's definitely soulmate union coming on in here for you. There's definitely love, Aries. You will have to choose, okay? The Seven of Swords in the reverse indicates someone wants to repair something with you um, and, you know, they got caught. They want to make amends, okay? Uh, but also there is a love union that is separate from that coming on in. So it looks like you will be talking to two entities. I'm gonna get a different deck because we've already used uh, all the cards, some cards from this deck now. Um, anything more about the new? Can you please talk about the new? How will my beautiful Aries meet new? Can you please guys, whoa. Okay, I'm gonna go get that card one moment, please. That was quite explosive. Nine of Pentacles. Where you, where you make your money, wherever your uh, sort of, as I said, wherever your intention goes, your energy flows, and where you invest your time in order to get reward, whether that's financial or whether it is uh, something that you're trying to achieve that you're passionate about. Nine of Pentacles indicates just when you're not expecting it, Aries, you're, you're a solitary figure, uh, there's union, okay? So, um, Thank you so much for it, guys, great angels. So you could be meeting this person at work if you've got a new job, or they may be connected to work in some way. Not that you'd want to be really working with someone closely that you work with, uh, but they may be on a new project, or um, they may be uh, in some way connected to a promotion, or thank you so much for it, guys, great angels. Anything further on this Nine of Pentacles? King of Swords, okay? So this person may be a Gemini energy as well. Uh, this person may be even a business person, like um, entrepreneur. They may be from a different country than you. A uh, very, very thoughtful person. This person, the truth is important to them. They are all about the truth, okay? Um, the truth is everything to them. They also think before they act, okay? They're not someone who's going to promise you the world and then not deliver. This person is kind of like a solid kind of foundation kind of person. Um, Interesting. 
Okay, so you may feel a little bit stuck in this situation because um, they're connected to your to your workspace in some way. Okay, now you may already have your eye on somebody, um, but as you can see, we've got a six of swords here, unable to move on from something. Okay, now it seems like because it's next to the moon card, there is some sort of reveal here. Something will be shedding. Unseen uh, problem or something comes to the surface and you make a change. Trust your intuition on this. Your intuition is very important because you do have a decision to make. Uh, but we have the Eight of Pentacles indicating, you know, wherever you make your money or wherever you invest your time, uh, you're investing in yourself, but you're, most importantly, you're mastering your craft and enjoying your employment. You could even meet this new person on some sort of course for learning because the Eight of Pentacles often talks about apprenticeship or earn as you learn, uh, gaining knowledge, uh, earning a new craft or skill. This new person, I feel like, they're really, um, I feel like this person's at the top of their field, but I, I, I also feel like wherever it is that you work, but there's something holding you back. There's a slight resistance to this. Either it's because you work with this person or they're connected to your work in some way, or you're holding out for the person in the past. There's resistance to this new person. They've asked me to go one more, which is interesting, before we close this reading. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Um, but they're indicating that you will be talking to, because um, we've got a lot of swords there, uh, you will be talking to the person in the past. They're making a bit of a return, but there is also new. Anything further for my beautiful Aries before we close this reading? Can you please clarify? Thank you so much. Uh, they give me the name Damon. Damon, so either your surname is Damon or you're called Damon, um, maybe the person's called Damon, uh, maybe a company's called Damon, please take it as it resonates. Again, if it does not resonate, does not mean it's not your reading. They just want to, um, they just want to, how can I put that? They just want to uh, highlight, uh, you need to pay attention, close attention to the reading, okay? We got a Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, they're indicating that if you're still stuck on the last person or the person, this, it could be twin flame, okay? If you're stuck in any way on the past person, then it looks like you will not invest in this situation, okay? This is your energy. I wanted to find out your energy. Um, so Knight of Pentacles um, indicates something's not working, okay? And it could even indicate, Aries, that you're being a bit stubborn about something. Please don't shoot the messenger when I uh, channel, channel this uh, energy, but they're indicating, obviously, see if the person in the past has changed for the better. If um, you feel like they have, then of course, you can heal your relationship. Um, it will take some time, uh, but if you want someone new, uh, there's someone new coming on in for you that seems to be connected um, to whatever it is that you you do or invest your time to achieve something. Um, there is union on the board here for you. Thank you so much for guys going angels and a higher level commitment as well because we have that hierophant in the uh the goals the, the the goal that you will reach thank you so much i'm truly grateful for the messages so far can you please clarify my beautiful aries anything more beauty you know what there's definitely something in the capricorn reading for you uh, because they got similar cards uh, enchantment wow what a card uh they've asked me to go again thank you so much for guys going angels can you please so they're just saying spot to me, spot. So either you have a spot and you're looking at the spot as you're listening to this reading, um, or, um, I mean, spot could be anything to be fair, so I can't really give you that. Um, maybe it's about spotting something, reading between the lines. Um, it could be your animals call spot, your pet. Please take it as it resonates, but it has to be in this moment, okay? Not just like, oh yeah, I had a spot like two years ago. Well, lucky you. Uh, you know, some of us have spots um, more than that. But anyway, um, so please take it as it resonates. But we have beauty. So there's a wonderful meeting of minds here. You're definitely blossoming. You're starting to believe in yourself again, my beautiful Aries. Also, you're getting your confidence back, self-assurance. Enchantment. Remember, you are the one. You're not looking for the one, you are the one, okay? You're, you're magnetizing the one towards you because when you go searching for the one, you're often giving away your power, okay? It's not, it's not a, an egotistical thing, it's an energy thing, okay? When we go searching, we're looking. We're, we've got our hand out looking for it, where is it, okay? But when we know with the crown chakra, 
deep knowing that is coming towards us and that we are worthy and deserving of love, it comes to us in divine order. So be mindful. Enchantment is very, very important. And as you can see, there's a lot of obstacles there, but the sun is on the horizon. Okay. Um, and also we have trust. Very, very important. I feel like there may have been some sort of damage of trust in the past with somebody and it may have taken you a while to process. But the situation is calling for you to have trust. Also, when you get a stag like that, it often appears on the Ace of Pentacles, which uh, is something solid, union, um, or a job that is solid. Now let's go straight to the Wisdom of the Oracle for any final messages. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. What do my beautiful Aries need to know before we close the reading? Whoa. How would you like to proceed? Okay, it's, yeah. We got loyal heart, but it's in the reverse. Aries, oof. Okay, I'm going to show you in the upright. We've got two owls there. And it's in the reverse. Oh my gosh, this never happens. They never asked me to go again, and they've asked me to go again on this. So I will. Please. Oh my gosh. We've also got higher power, and it's in the reverse. Okay, so um, we will clarify um, this energy before we close the reading. 35. 35, and you get the protection message. Oh my gosh. Again, please don't shoot the messenger, Aries, but even, I just read the first sentence. So, <laughs> are you stubborn or overly tenacious about an idea? I feel I've been shot already, but anyway. Uh, or have you become so attached to something that you just don't know how to let it go? Could it be that it's become so much part of you that you wouldn't know how to or who you were without it? Now is the time to look at outdated beliefs, old ideas, and misplaced loyalties. Betrayal is only a signal that it is time to prune away all who do not deserve your trust and have no place in your life. Be new, think new, and open your heart to new things. Let go of the old and all of your attachments. Spirit has awesome plans for you. Make some room. I mean, that clarifies the whole reading, okay? And that Knight of Pentacles that showed up, I, I said it was your energy. I was getting this stubborn energy, so sorry. Um, but I have to tell you how I'm getting it. I'm not going to blow smoke up your you-know-what. Uh, I'm here to give you what I'm getting. And I know that you would, uh, you would prefer the truth rather than me to sort of make it all foofy and everything for you. So protection message, because it's in the reverse. Let me see. Yeah, for high power. Now is the time to examine what you are giving your energy and attention to in the back of your mind. If you're obsessing about being right, about old resentments or failed expectations about money, or even about other people, places or things, these things will be the source from which you create. But you want spirit to be your source. So take heart for your higher power will never desert you and it is always waiting for you to remember the sacred partnership you share. Turn away from other sources of power that don't serve your highest good. There is no greater source than spirit. You can always surrender your troubles and trust that they will be taken care of. You are in good hands. Okay, so again, they're asking you to look at the energy exchange. If someone you've been investing your time, your love, your energy into and care is not giving you the same in return, Aries, there's a problem, okay? So just re really address that. I'm just gonna get a trinket before we close. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels, can you please guide my beautiful Aries? Ooh, so we have the lucky cat. But also what's important about this cat is cats love themselves on their own terms first, okay? Very independent creatures, and I feel the Aries that, you know, you're a very independent creature also, that, uh, you know, you may have even shied away from high-level commitment for a while, uh, but there's an energy here that cats, they always give love, but after they've loved themselves first, okay, they make sure, it's not a selfish act, they make sure that they have self-care first. Um, also, there is a turn of, a, there's a turning point in your relationship uh, or your, uh, your love um, situation uh, for the better, okay? Uh, they're actually asking me to put it on um, the full card because there's a leap of faith required, okay? And it will turn out in your favor. Also, we have the owl, okay? So you'll be seeing things 360. There's a lot of wisdom that goes in this situation, okay? But also, we got two owls here. So again, more confirmation from spirit. This is a very important card for you, okay, to pay close attention to. 
Um, actually, they want this on the Ace of Cups, okay? You will know the right person for you. You will know the person who has a loyal heart for you, Aries. Remember, Crown Chakra and Sacral Chakra, very important. I will leave it there, my beautiful Aries. I hope something resonated for you in this reading. If it did, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press the little bell. That's important because it lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Also, if you'd like to be with a chance to win a personal reading from me, all you have to do is take 10 minutes out of your day to visualize, okay? Visualize whatever it is that you want. The career of your dreams, the house of your dreams, the person of your dreams. Just focus on one, though, for 10 minutes, okay? And I really want you to see it. If it's a person you're trying to manifest, new love, I really want you to see what that person looks like. Imagine the sort of humor this person would have. Imagine yourself laughing and joking with this person, having fun. Imagine you and this person in a pool together, you know, if you enjoy being in pools together. Um, you know, I don't know why that's come in. Uh, but in a, in a swimming pool, you know, sort of frolicking around in the sun. Imagine yourself both having a beautiful meal together, being at the cinema together, all of those things. I really want you to see it, taste it, touch it in your mind, okay? Because what you can see in the mind, you can have in the hand. So very important that you attach emotion to the visualizations, just 10 minutes out of your day. Uh, you can share that in the comments box below if you wish to. If you do not wish to, as it's a very private affair, put the word love in the comments and I will uh, go through all the comments and I will pick one lucky subscriber. Most importantly, on the 12th of April, Aries, where the new moon is in your sign. It's a very, very important time for you. You're powering up in a big way. It's a time to cultivate your vision. So if you have manifestations that you're, you're working on, make sure you do some sort of ritual around about the 12th of April, the new moon in Aries, and uh, they will be brought to you on wings. I've, they, 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 you'll, you'll start to manifest quicker than usual. Okay, very, very powerful energy. Thank you so much, my beautiful Aries. Love and light.